Come on. Put your emojis together for Auntie Miracle B. Well, good afternoon. Well, evening, evening. Um, I decided to go ahead and make a quick video tonight because Miss Ricky has had a very eventful afternoon, and I want to get this just in case it gets deleted from YouTube. Um, basically, what's going on here is that Miss Ricky is with her uh, white trash treasure named Banjo, and they um, depart from each other for a few minutes, and then fuckery ensues, and I don't want to spoil any of the surprise. But it's a lot of foolishness. So, enjoy. I thought I got the unlimited. I guess unlimited does not mean unlimited. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But all I know is they sell like singular hot pots somewhere. Okay, let me write it down. Hang on a second. If I can find a pen. Hey, uh, what's your name? Barely. What's your name? Uh, Uh, so, yeah, so the reason that uh, she knows that he needs Narcan is because he is a meth addict and they both do meth together. A meth, oh, I'm sorry, heroin. And they both do heroin together. Well, she's more meth, but uh, it's clear that she's been shooting up too. Um, but yeah. So she immediately knows Narcan. Oh, 911! Are you calling him? I called Where am I at? 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 Where am I
no, no, no. Break up! You see oh, me? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, man, I can't even feel it. You notice that she is still very cognizant that the camera is on and to make sure that someone grabs the selfie stick. So you said she said she didn't know, but then immediately knew that it was heroin. You know why she knew it was heroin? Because the man has been taking heroin together. Bobby and Whitney, they got something in common. 
and all this howling and screaming, Lord. And the, they didn't say, he okay, he's going to be okay. But yeah, he turned blue. But yeah. He's got a big position. <laughs> And I think that when she's screaming, you piece of shit, she's referencing herself because she left him and was talking to the little dude with the um, uh, guitar and was having a good little time and didn't notice that uh, this nut had fell out uh, behind her. Well, you need to tell him what he took. <laughs> Time. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. He's breathing, honey. He's breathing. He's breathing. We did it again. He did it again. He did it again. He did it again. I guess he took heroin. I don't know. I wasn't with him for five fucking minutes. God damn it. Five fucking minutes. God damn it. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. No. God damn it. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You better call that to me. Hey, God damn it, Paolo. Motherfucker. Pulling up, we need y'all to back up and get out the way. Back up, get out the way. The ambulance is pulling up. Back up, get out the way. Why? No. What do you mean, no? Get in the Narcan. Get in the Narcan. You know what Get in the Narcan. Get in the Narcan. Get out of his way. Please be okay. Please be okay. I think it's a heroin. I don't know. No. I just need you to step back. I understand. Where can I go? Where can I go? I just need you to talk about it. Now she says heroin again. So clearly she knows it's heroin. She knows. Just take about three steps back. Where do I mean we'll, that? We'll find out for you. I don't know where to go. I, I know. We'll find out. They probably don't know either yet. Be okay. I, I don't know. Right. Just, just stay back for me. We'll be there. Okay. 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 God damn it! I left it for five minutes. I left it for five fucking minutes. I left it for five fucking minutes. <laughs> Can I go with you? Can I ride with you on this bike? You're not going to be able to ride with him. I need you to stay out of his way, okay? They're trying to save your friend. Who knows? I for five minutes. I left it for five minutes. Please be okay. Please be okay. You ever do his life? And all his life. Can I go with him? Pablo Omar. Pablo Omar? Wendor. How do you spell his last name? R-B-I-N-D-O-R. Can I go with you? Can I ride in the ambulance with him? D-O-R. 
Can I ride in the ambulance Pablo, with him? Pablo Windor? Yes, can I go? Birth? Oh, I it's uh, February. Uh, he's younger than me, three years, so I was born you? in 89. Okay, so he was born in uh, 86. Maybe. He's younger or older? He's younger than me by three years. Can I go with you? Can I go with you, please? I don't know how to get there. Please, I need to go. I need to ride with you, please. Can I go with you? Can I go with you? Is he going to be okay? Is he breathing? Is he going to be okay? He's breathing right now, but yeah, we can't have any riders right now with everything going on. Okay, where should I meet him at? I'll tell you where we're going before, Thank you. before we leave. Thank you. Right? You think he's going to be okay? God damn you piece of shit. You don't leave him for five minutes. You know better. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. Goddamn idiot. You fucking idiot. You let somebody die. You let somebody die. You left them for five minutes. You idiot. 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 You really can see the pain, the emptiness in her face, in her eyes, just completely empty and vacant. This is shit. Jesus Christ, save me. Help me. Help me. Save me. I need him right now. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. He's got epilepsy. He's got epilepsy. Hang on, baby. He's got epilepsy. What else, baby? I don't know. I can't think. I can't hear you. Hey, listen, I need a phone number for you. 615 663 6922. 6622. Say it again. 663. 22. But he's got epilepsy. Okay, so what's your name? Diana Ricky. Diana Ricky? Yeah, where's the address I need to go to? Do you know where St. Thomas Midtown is? Midtown, St. Thomas. I don't know. No straight, straight out, straight out, Charlotte. It's, it's a little bit of a wall, but it's one of the closer hospitals to here. St. Thomas, Thomas Midtown. St. Thomas Midtown, yeah. Straight, How far is that? Straight down Charlotte, it's about two miles. Charlotte, which way do I walk from here? This way. I take you a right. The, you get the Broadway, you would go that Broadway, way. Broadway, take a right. Straight yeah, or, down. Or church, whatever you need to you. Broadway, church and 20th Avenue North. Yeah. What? Church and 20th Avenue North. You said church. Richie or Ricky's? Yeah. Where's church street? Yeah. Exactly. What's your R-I-C-K-U-I. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna give your I'm gonna give your info to the hospital when we get there. Okay. So they call you, right? And uh, where do I go from here? I go to Church Street and take a right and I'm walking. So Church Street, take a right and it's at 20th Avenue and Church Street. Okay, so I take a right on Church Street and then I take a left on 20th Avenue or, yeah. and then I go down till I see it on what, the left or the right? You'll see the you'll see the emergency sign. Once you turn that way, you'll see the emergency Midtown, sign. Midtown, what? St. Thomas Midtown. St. Thomas Midtown. Thousand Church Street. Two thousand Church Street, St. Thomas Midtown. Which one? Which one is that? Oh, they're going back. You fucking idiot! You piece of shit. He's alive. He's alive. I'll be there. You're lucky you survived. I don't know where this dog is. I'm not sure 
I need a ride to the hospital. I just need a truck. I can't carry all this. I don't have any money. And what is so interesting about her not having any money, her people gave her $200 and she spent all of it at CVS um, that, that morning or the day before on bullshit, like battery packs and uh, bandanas, uh, magazines. She spent all of it on bull shit. I kid you not. Bullshit. What do you say? Are you okay? I'm telling you. Fix your shirt. So she just said music is her solace. That is the reason why she bombards her lives with that god awful music that is so annoying and disturbing to all of us. But that's the reason why music is her solace. So here she's talking to the little dude. Who a uh, little street musician? Why dude is um, still uh, on the verge of dying in the ambulance? I left him for five fucking minutes. You fucking would get some heroin and all that shit. Yeah, I don't want to be on the street. It was heroin. And she knows I now. Know got high. Yeah, she got high. It's not, you can only get so many chances. This is like number 20 for him. He keeps doing it. Yeah, she's missing the point where this should be a wake up call for her as well. That this will be you at some point. So, like you just said, um, you can only have so many chances. This is where you're headed. But um, that's a uh, missed on her. I can't leave it for five minutes. And she is still focusing on that camera. She's still focusing on the camera. Dude is dying in the ambulance. She's worried and, and frazzled and in shock, but she can focus on that camera, on this selfie stick. <laughs> We got one thousand years. Oh, my God. 
Okay, so he got his Narcan shot, and so the drugs has, you know, uh, has been all the toxins have been um, automatically removed from his body, so he's officially clean at this moment. So of course he's not going to want to go to the hospital because they're probably going to try to admit him. Um, so um, now um, the premise is talking to Diana to tell her, hey, he's not leaving. He doesn't want to go. So, um, yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. All right, so you see that she's focusing on getting more Narcan because she knows this is going to occur again. Um, I don't know if they don't remember when this individual up at the top of the screen died, Prince. He had that shot of Narcon, uh, Narcan and he was fine, right? And then he took some more fentanyl and he had an overdose from taking fentanyl. When you get that Narcan and then start back using again, nine times out of 10, you're going to immediately overdose and you have a higher possibility of death. 
This is serious. Are you the one that has Arcan? No, I was the one that had Arcan back. Can you leave me with So now we're here begging the viewers, and she had about 1.4K viewers at the time. She's begging for um, where she can get uh, a particular type of Narcan. Still holding the selfie stick, might I add. Why wouldn't he open his mouth so we can give him CPR? I would have gave him CPR, I couldn't open his mouth. I only know how to give him infant CPR, I don't know how to actually give him adult CPR. It's, it's, uh, 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 stay alive, stay alive. 31 beats for a minute, but like, two breasts, 31 beats, I'm not sure. I don't know how it's different in adults. No, I'm just not gonna let the motherfucker. Yeah, I need to do a lot of shit, and I'm not gonna let this motherfucker out my goddamn sight for five minutes. I thought he was stronger than that. He hasn't drank or done drugs for three days, and I let him out of my sight for five fucking minutes. Idiot, idiot, idiot. He's done this several times before. I'm gonna get this motherfucker. I, I need a hotel room. I don't know how I would get it. I don't have any cards or cash apps set up anyways, like I don't know how somebody would have to call the hotel and book it or something, like, and then tell me that they booked it. David gave who's David? I am. This is her everyday life. Um, stand in front of the camera, and somebody will book her a hotel. Um, someone sent her pizza last night. Again, she had money. They'd be sending her money. She had two hundred dollars that she wasted today. But this is what she does. This is what she does. Oh, 
I, I said, I said, I spent it at uh, work at that CBS. I bought like that. So she's telling whoever she's speaking to, whoever her neighbor is, that yeah, I had money and I spent it all at CVS. And um, because she needed more battery packs so she could stay live. They could stay live. Hmm, okay. I can't take it back. I lose it every day. I need it, but like, I can't believe it was two hundred dollars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack the shit out of this goddamn asshole, and I'm never gonna let it on my sight again. So, I'm gonna fix this motherfucker. I gotta fix this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about my stuff and somebody takes it right now. What I give a fuck about is like why I let him out of my sight for five minutes. What did he say he was going to do? Where did he say he was going? Why didn't I go with him? What was I so busy doing? How come I didn't know? He fucking fucked up for five seconds. I held him for three days, but I fucked up for five seconds. Yeah, the fuck I can. Who the hell else is there to play? I'm not going to do it again. I'll be goddamn if I let him out of my sight. Until he's healed.
I don't know if I was muted or not, but I was just saying, um, look, um, they're reuniting together and, you know, he's got on his Nirvana shirt, you know, like Kurt and Courtney. Um, it's very ironic that we're seeing uh, modern day Court and Courtney. Court, Kurt and Courtney. <laughs> Ooh, Cobain. <clears throat> it's very ironic. Very ironic. <laughs> So we're not sure if this dude was a drug dealer or not, why he just happened to have Narcan on him. But uh, yeah, he just happened to have Narcan on him. And so now she's trying to figure out where can I get whatever you had? And I guess he's just like, um, A, you got a camera on and B, look, you know, y'all fucking up my business. That's the way I interpret this, um, his behavior. That's why you said. I'm literally dying. Okay, where do I get an injection of narcan? Yeah, let me get some of that. Most of it goes up your nose. Most of it goes up your nose. He had the injection. You weren't getting it like gone for seven minutes. Well, guys, look. I mean, you guys don't have a good relationship. You know, I have to leave my Facebook because of it. But, I mean, this is shitty. Like, everybody's mad because. Look at this treasure. Look at this treasure. Whatever's on his neck looks like he's got a bunch of penises drawn on his neck. Um, his teeth. Uh, I mean, he's got the. <sighs> I mean, he looks like he smelled like, you know, the inside of a, a, a 1980s car. You see, I'm dying over here. Your boyfriend's dying over here. You know, you're taking out with some other dude? I'm 
So the chat is blaming her um, for his overdose and his downfall. <laughs> and so they're responding to the chat. I was just simply trying to listen to the music so that I could maintain sanity. That's it, right? Yeah. Like, I got to So he's accusing her of flirting with the the big dude, um, the, the big dude with the uh, guitar. He's accusing them of having a, a flirtation, start, trying to start an entanglement. Oh, Jesus. This is my fault. This is my fault. No, it's my fault because I let you go for five minutes. I don't want to fuck anybody. Do it in front of me, but I'm not trying to fuck anybody. I don't know what to do. My boyfriend went off for five minutes. I left him alone, and he fucking went and decided to go die. That man must die of heroin. And so, like, that's not my fault. I don't know what to do. I just, other than leaving you alone for five minutes, I'm not sure what to do. Like, and getting an argument. Yeah, go, go you can only be revived that. 20 go times in one new. lifetime. I mean, I don't know. Go, go find somebody new. I'm they, not going to find somebody new. I'm going to fix it. I died, and they still just flirting some other dude. I'm not flirting. I'm not fucking flirting. Go, go fuck wherever you want. I'm not trying to fuck anybody. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck are you going to do different? So what are you going to do different? Nothing? I don't, yeah. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about you. No, I got a baby thing 24 7. I'm not giving a fuck about you. I can't let you walk across the street, no. Piece of shit. That's the man that saved him right there. Go watch my shit. Ambulance response time. The 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 1.3 thousand people said thank you for saving his life. I can't trust you alone, my fucker. I used to be addicted to heroin. I was 10 years on heroin and 10 years clean. Now it's my fault if I see somebody else die. Especially somebody I care about. He's done it like 20 times this year, so for last month. I'm sure. He's lucky he made it out of the last one. He gets the bush. A fucking police officer. Saved his life. Again, there's so many times he's been saved. Oh, hey. I'm 
I need a goddamn to go ahead and get virgin in that shit. I'm not gonna save three other people from Odos. But I'm not gonna let him alone for too long, but I thought he was stronger than that. Five minutes. Don't you know when too much is too much? <laughs> I was just goddamn if I let somebody die on my watch. I go the distance. I've been fucking up here lately. But it's not okay. And he's gonna do something different or something. It's lucky that I got that guy out of shop in our hands. One out of fucking 400 people that had a shop in our hands. On hand. Why wasn't that me? I know what I'm dealing with. I just wasn't prepared. Motherfucker is brain damage. So this is not oxygen for five minutes, ten minutes. I don't know how long it was. Not the first time. It's not, it's the people that you leave that you hurt. People you leave behind that hurt. What would I have done if you died? Well, I wasn't dying. Yeah, you died. Just because you got revived doesn't mean you weren't dead. The point is, you gotta stop doing it. Stop doing it. This most beautiful man I've come across and I had to fucking go do something like that in five minutes because I wasn't with you. I'm dying from the fucking English, okay? I don't you know what you want to do, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. You got it. You got a point, motherfucker. I ain't doing that. Should I start believing the people on that fucking page because everything looks good so far? Absolutely. Like, I saw it today. I didn't see anything. I don't know what the fucking problem was. I was just thinking music. You listen to music for your fucking boyfriend dying under. Is that it? Because I gotta have something that will keep you calm. If something to calm down. I didn't want to get in the way.
What's your plan? What's your plan? I'm gonna surround myself with people that are loyal. I'm loyal. Okay, well get over here. Where do you want to sleep tonight? You want me to go to the hotel room or what? No, I, I don't. I'm, I'm just gonna go somewhere else right now, okay? Because I feel like shit. I'm not letting you out of my sight. I don't care how much like shit you feel like. I'm not letting you out of my sight. I am not letting you out of my sight. Where do you plan on going? Where do you plan on going? This is my fault. You were doing this way before me. What's the root of it? Now, why were you doing this before? No, there's more wrong in your life than this. What? Now, why were you doing this before me? Now, why were you doing this before me? Tell him the night, so he's us down, talk to him. I don't have a card, so somebody's gonna have to call a hotel around here and book it for us or something online or something. Hello, what's going on, Let me speed this along a little bit. All right, here we go. This is where we get to this part. And then I can go ahead and kill it. I'm going to be it. Time for y'all. I died like 50 times. Okay. Why? A whole lot. Why? There we go. Yeah. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. And Narcan already wearing off. Why? Everything you say. What? Shit, I can't hear you. Why did you hear before you met me? What's the problem? 
You for five minutes and you were dead, so. Oh, okay, so what are you gonna so you good. I don't give a fuck. So what are you gonna change? So we're really arguing right now. We're really having an argument after he almost died and she was carried on hysterically for all that time. They're really having an argument right now. What are you gonna change? Nothing. I'm not gonna change anything. So you just want to die? You want to die. So what's the underlying problem here? Uh, who said I was fucking anybody? Y'all hit it? Anyways, like, I don't give a fuck. Did I fuck somebody? Are you talking about loyalty? What's loyalty to you? That's not my fault. You were doing this shit way before I ever came along. What's the underlying cause here? What's the underlying cause here? Why do you do drugs? What? Why do you do drugs? Why? Why do you do drugs? Why do you do drugs? Why do you do drugs? Ah, there you go. What? <laughs> this bitch says she don't do drugs. Ah, uh, right. I break bread with them now to show them I can hang and I can get out. Why did I do drugs? Why did, why did I do drugs? Why do you do? Socially. I did drugs because I wanted to numb the pain. Uh, I did drugs because... There wasn't enough good people out there, and I don't know why do you do drugs. Real talk. Why, why do you do drugs? Look at him. Look at this nigga. He like he is about to pass out now. You know, you're the only motherfucker I actually really did do. What? I'd be good goddamn if I watch somebody I care about die in front of me. Obviously, you didn't give a shit. Because you're over here trying to punch my ear. Obviously, I freaked the fuck out and so realized I needed to go back to my calamity and get the fuck out of the way for somebody that knew what the fuck they were doing when the goddamn ambulance finally fucking got here fucking 30 minutes later. If that guy didn't have Narcan, you would be dead right now. It was his Narcan, yes. And that's what the ambulance said, too. If they didn't get you, you with the, the fucking Narcan, what he did. And I said, there's 200 people here. Nobody has fucking Narcan. Thank God that's when somebody walked up with some Narcan. Now I'm kicking myself in the ass for knowing what I'm dealing with and not having Narcan. But I thought I saw you for the last three days and I didn't see a fucking junkie. I didn't see you feeling for drugs. Yeah, I was with you and I didn't, I didn't see that fucking world. Well, I guess you need to let me know that's a always, problem. Always I'm sorry, I didn't do it. I don't want to fuck anybody. I don't give a fuck about fucking anybody. 
I just like music and fucking. Apparently, I'm not trying to fuck somebody. I just like to talk and I like music. So I don't give a fuck about anybody but you. So if you there was some problem earlier, when as soon as you felt the problem earlier, you needed to obviously come and talk to me about it. I didn't hear nothing. I asked you several times if you're cool. Like you look like you can handle yourself. Okay. So sick. But we both know that that's not the actual real problem here. So whatever you did was not because of anything about me. It was because you were doing it way before me. So 50 times this in a matter of six months is not anything to do with me. But you're going to get better. Yes, but, myself. I don't care how you do it. I'm not going to be... Uh, responsible for it. I'm not, I'm not you I would love to follow you everywhere. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Like, do you know how many real motherfuckers are out here? I don't give a fuck. Be real man in 20 seconds, 20 minutes, 20, 20 minutes, okay? Like, I don't care. Like, everybody does me wrong. They're not worth yeah. the shit. They're bad people. I don't give a fuck. Like, hey, y'all straight on the weed. Yeah, we don't need no drugs. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, uh, what do you want from me? What do you require? What do you need? You said you want to be my girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can do that. I don't know what you consider flirting. I came down and sat next to him after I realized you were alive. Fucking pissed at you for not realizing what you need to fucking change here. The whist didn't hear. He's accusing her of, of flirting with a, a guitar, um, a macho man, Randy Savage man. And um, he's in his feelings mad. Uh, forget the fact that these are both junkies and they need to be helped and they need to be somewhere. Let me talk about this. Let's go. Get up. Let's get up. All right. I need a goddamn beer. I need a fucking beer after this. We need a beer. I can't apparently. I can't leave it for five minutes. So if you're coming with me. Where are we going? I need to go to the hospital or the rehab. Uh, Excuse me, my name is Nancy. Piece of shit. Uh, it's not you. It's a man. It's a people you leave behind. You leave behind because of my girlfriend. Supposedly, he's my girlfriend. That's not the reason. That's not the reason. That's not the reason. That's not the reason, man. That is exactly the reason. All right, so we're going to uh, go into bad music and then um, he's going to um, be mad and she's going to follow him um, to get to this bridge here and then they're going to argue for a while. Uh, last time that I checked, she went live again, and they are cuddling each other while they are talking um, intel- unintelligently. So I just thought that I would bring this interestingness to everyone, um, just in case it gets blocked or it gets deleted. <sighs> yeah. We've seen some some bad things going on. And I just want to show uh, a share that this is a picture of Diana. When she's healthy.
And we went from that. There's another picture of her healthy. We go from that. To this. It's a sad situation. Um, it's a reason why she keeps having to get um, evaluated by mental health professionals. It's just a really sad situation, but I just wanted to to show that even though all this was going on and this her boo thing was on the verge of death, she still had the wherewithal to continue streaming and she is live now. Okay, she's live now. Hmm. So I'm just gonna just leave it there.